Hey Salem, hey Hope Factory, this is Apologetics for Breakfast. Have you ever got in a conversation with someone and you wish you had a tool, you wish you had an idea, you wish you had some more research, or uh, so you wish someone explained to you how you could defend your faith, defend what you believe in? Of course, for my teenagers, for you guys, I want you guys to be able to speak informed about what you actually believe. And so this series is all about giving you simple tools that you can use to argue back, to talk back, to have a conversation, to answer back uh, about what you really believe. We believe in Jesus Christ. We believe in the whole Bible, that the whole thing is true. We believe that Jesus Christ came to save us. And we believe uh, that God created the universe and everything all around us. And so the first tool I want to give you today, this first principle, is one of cause and effect. Have you ever looked at a watch on someone's wrist? Uh, you've seen it, right? Maybe it was a beautiful watch that showed the inside of the watch and showed all the different uh, mechanisms in it that were moving and shifting. Have you ever wondered, looking at that watch before examining it any further, uh, wondered who created it. Uh, seeing the beautiful, intelligent design of the watch, you're like, man, someone had to put this watch together. Well, that's what cause and effect is all about. You have a cause, an event, which is the cause. You have effect, an event, which is effect. And we know that from everything. If I snap, if I stump my foot, if I'm speaking to you right now, you are getting the effect back of what, I'm, what I have done. And so, look, maybe you're eating breakfast right now. Maybe you're just viewing this video for the first time. This is something that you can use when someone asks you about how the world came into being. Looking all around us, you can see the intelligent design of God. You can literally see that, man, there's in the sky, a hundred billion stars in many different galaxies. You can look and see if you had something to gauge how much oxygen was in the air, that there's literally 21% of oxygen in the atmosphere and that if we had just a little bit of a percentage higher, uh, it would be too hot and things would start blowing up and combusting or if it was a little bit too low that literally human beings would suffocate or that we are so far away from the sun that we sit at a 21 degree a uh, 23 degree axis I'm sorry of of the of the of the uh, of the globe and that literally this world right sits perfectly in place from the sun at the right axis so that we can have proper uh, uh, flourishing happening here in our world that the grass and that the and that the uh, that the flowers and that everything around us uh, seems to be uh, in perfect position to get nutrients from the sun. There's so many things around us that we could go into about science and see the cause and effect. But the truth is, is that if our whole world operates off of this principle of cause and effect, there had to be something that put this into play. There had to be a great watchmaker, which is Jesus Christ, which is God, our our our. Yahweh, our, who we believe in, who put this into play, who spoke the world into existence. And from that cause of him saying that the world should be what it is, that darkness now light may be, that, that uh, literally that uh, animals and that human beings can now breathe and that whatever, that, that God created this world by speaking it into existence. And because of that, we now have the effect of what you see all around you. I, I, I encourage you, go out, see, examine, learn more about how the world is so intricately and intelligently designed. And maybe that point back for you, point back to the faith that you believe that there was a God who is a super intelligence, who was able to put this into play and who was able to create this moment for us that we live in now, our own life, our existence, who we are. Cause and effect. That should help you. Apologetics for breakfast. If you have any questions, please comment on our uh, youth page, uh, Salem Hope Factory, and on the Instagram, Salem Hope Factory. And we'll love to get back to you about your questions.